Germany, once upon a time, a very preferred destination, especially for mechanical engineers. But is it truly a very preferred destination even today? This video is on that and I am going to be making a case for no. The most amazing thing about Germany and the reason why quite a few Indian students used to prefer Germany was not just because the fees there is low, it's also because the quality of education that is offered is fantastic. Is it valid even today? The answer is yes. But the point that you need to understand is when we Indians go to a foreign country, we are not just going for education, but we are also going for a career and possibility of settling there. That has actually deteriorated in Germany and that is one of the major reasons why I am against Germany. One of the greatest challenges in Germany is the fact that it's a part of the European Union. In fact, Germany is one of the very few countries and amazingly very, very few countries to have an economy that is still functioning well. Now, that should sound good, but the problem is because it is a part of the European Union, any citizen from any country like Italy, like Greece, like France can come to any other country country like Germany for a job and no, they don't need to apply for a work visa. Now, the unfortunate part that's happening around in European Union is every other country is going through a bad recessionary phase. Unemployment is huge. You don't believe me? All that you need to do is Google it. Open Google and type unemployment in Italy or unemployment in France to get to know how high the unemployment rate is. I'm not even bringing Greece, which whose economy has crashed. So guess what is happening? All these people are landing up in the only land of opportunity within the European Union, that is Germany. Now you, a student from India, having done masters in Germany, when you pass out, you start with two major disadvantages. One of course is you are not a citizen of European Union. So if I am a German company and I have an option of recruiting you, and a person of equal caliber from let's say France, I'll always prefer someone from France. And that too, even if the caliber is not as good as yours. Why? Because when I recruit a person from France, I don't need to go through all the issues of getting a work visa. Let's not forget it's company which gets a work visa. Company has to pay for your work visa. Company has to complete the legal formalities for your work visa and it is a hassle. A hassle the company can avoid by taking European Union citizens. So guess what has happened? Companies are preferring European Union citizens than non-European Union citizens, which is where the Indians come. The second major reason why I say no to Germany is, unfortunately, Germany is a country where you need to be very fluent in German to get not just a job, but also internship opportunity. The amazing thing about Germany is the education system, which is practical oriented. And that is something that has always attracted interest. But practical orientation means that you have to get internship assignments. But for you to get internship assignments, you need it to be good enough in German. Now, before you go to German, you will probably say, that's okay, I will learn it. But don't ever, ever go with that assumption because look back at yourself, how many languages have you actually been able to pick fast? Most of us are not comfortable in Hindi. Most of us are not even comfortable in English. If you are not comfortable in language that you've been speaking for this long, what is the guarantee that after you go there or even by taking basic courses in India, you will be able to gain the level of fluency required for you to satisfy the requirements from companies either for the job or for internship. Now, you need to remember the fact that even the colleges which teach in English, there again, you need to show your fluency in English, in German, German language. And that is going to be a challenge. Now, why am I also against Germany today? Because 10 years back, 15 years back, most of us came from families where we did not have the ability to either pay for it or even raise funds. Today, Government of India, through various developments, offers you an opportunity to raise funds. It could be education loan, it could be uh, scholarships, it could be grants. And therefore, today, you don't need to choose the cheapest education. What you should choose is the best education. Yes, you need to have a budget, 
but the budget need not be so low that it compromises on your career moving forward. Therefore, I have always recommended my students, if you can afford it, go to a country where not just do you have quality education, let's not forget German has that, but also an opportunity for fighting on an equal footing for a job. 